this is a business of constant change and pace. Um, and so I've been doing it for 15 years now and I feel like every year there is just this new huge issue that we have to tackle, not just within one company but as an industry as a whole. And so over time, that, that pace of change, I now feel like it's part of our daily life. And so for marketers, when I talk to them, one of the biggest issues with change is just fear. It's fear of the unknown. Uh, there's a fear of if I change, will my sales go down? If I change, will I do something negative? And that fear is really what holds most people back uh, from driving the change. And so what we do is just try and educate as much as possible and show as much information as possible of what the expected likely outcome is if you were to take a different approach. And so to me, education always overcomes fear and the way that we deal with marketers is pulling out every data point that we could have to make sure that they're making the most informed decision possible. The explosion of the smartphone onto the scene a couple of five years ago or so and in watching, to me, it's not a demographic question anymore at all. It's you know, maybe when you start approaching above 60 years old, the percentages that these people are still really watching television because a lot of people are, are averse to change. They don't want to change their daily habits and so you see them kind of do it. But as consumers get a smartphone in their hand, you see that consumption just skyrocket. And so to me, the, the, the mobile um, shift in consumer behavior, of course, there's all kinds of challenges around data and linking it, third party cookies don't work, but you do. And then there's two ecosystems in mobile. There's a web browser and there's mobile apps and those are separate ecosystems too and most people haven't been, been able to put their head around you know how do you deal with a mobile phone with two ecosystems involved and third-party cookies don't work so for us solving that challenge of helping brands understand what mobile is doing for them is all about getting a single view of the customer and if you try and approach the industry from looking at it through mobile first or desktop first you can't do it you have to really go back and frame the the journey of the of the customer and so it starts with identifying a consumer who's in market and then looking at their path to purchase um, with you or their path of media consumption to try and get your brand in front of so to me I would always reverse the problem and say you can't start looking at a channel. Those are means to an end. The end is the actual customer or prospect and I would start with looking at their view and how they're going to approach it and try and match that as a marketer. And over time, we've done it for the last couple of decades. You know, there's a big question which why is more money not spent in mobile? And of course it's due to the measurement of mobile. It's not there. People can't really tangibly feel what they got for their money. Um, but consumers have already shifted. So this age-old concept of the dollars follow the eyeballs. Yes, that is true, but in today's world, the dollars follow where they can be justified on what the return is. When I come to these conferences and, and what I'm looking to get out of it is, what is next? And I think the, the concept of adapt and adaptation, it's perfect for ad tech. Uh, the amount of innovation and, and, and crazy strategic thinking that goes on into this industry really comes out in this conference where it can be shared. Um, and a lot of people who may be behind or not doing the bleeding edge, you get to hear the bleeding edge all the way with what you should be doing and kind of measure your own uh, results. Where am I compared to what I'm hearing here? And there's no doubt the speakers uh, at this conference are way on the bleeding edge of the world and the audience got the benefit of hearing what they should be doing and what they are likely going to be doing in a few months or in a few quarters.